So without further ado, our first award is for a bold vision for healthy food. And the award will be presented by David Levine, president and co-founder of the American Sustainable Business Council. ASBC represents a broad range of over 250,000 businesses. It's the leading business organization serving the public policy interests of responsible companies, their customers, and other stakeholders. They advocate for legislation that supports sustainability, equity, and justice from a business perspective. David? Great, and first of all, I just want to congratulate Clean and Healthy New York, especially Kathy and Bobby. I mean, this is years and years of work to sort of build the, the platform and that led to a momentous set of legislation being passed this year. And, you know, it's just a phenomenal body of work, but it didn't come easy. And it's, you know, Clean and Healthy New York, it is all the other allies but it's, it's the incredible work of, of these two phenomenal women leaders that I just need to mention. You know, that's the award. That's the biggest award right there. But, you know, you know, as the American Sustainable Business Council, we're especially excited that this year, Clean and Healthy New York decided to honor the best of the best of businesses in New York State. These are businesses that understand that businesses mean caring for the environment. It means equity and justice, you know, providing supportive workplaces with great benefits and so much more that they're the businesses that are helping us to lead the way towards a more just and sustainable economy and future. You know, the award that I'm giving for, you know, healthy food tonight, you know, over the last five years, my family started a farm here in the Hudson Valley. I'm in the, an old post and bean barn now, you know, in Gallatin, New York. But, you know, moving through the struggles of keeping a family farm alive has led us to many collaborations, not only for our farm's benefit, but for many small farms in the region and for the health and well-being of our community. So it's it's with an even greater admiration and my pleasure to present the award for Bold Vision for Healthy Food to Soul Fire Farm. So let me just take a minute to tell you a bit about them using most of their own words. So Soul Fire Farm is a BIPOC-centered community farm committed to ending racism and injustice in the food system. They raise and distribute life-giving food as a means to end food apartheid. With deep reverence for the land and wisdom of the ancestors, they work to reclaim the collective right to belong to the earth and to have agency in the food system. They bring diverse communities together on this healing land and to share skills on sustainable agriculture, natural buildings, spiritual activism, health and environmental justice. They are training the next generation of activist farmers and strengthening the movements for food sovereignty and community self-determination. Soul Fire Farm is doing some of the most dynamic education and advocacy work to end racism and environmental harm in the food system. They are taking food justice advocacy from the retail to the wholesale level by not only operating a BIPOC own sustainable farm, but training the trainer and seeding the next generation of BIPOC farmers and advocates. Soulfire Farms' bold vision for a healthy future is expressed in their mission statement. They are training the next generation of activist farmers and strengthening the movements for food sovereignty and community self-determination. Boy, did they deserve this award tonight. You know, so it's my great pleasure to present the bold vision for healthy food to Soul Fire Farm and Tana Asili, who's the board chair, will be accepting the award. So Tana, over to you and congratulations. Much, um, good evening, everyone. Um, I, my name is Taina Asili. I am the board chair of Soul Fire Farm. I'm also a local musician. Um, and um, 
I'm just so grateful to be here on behalf of the entire team at Soul Fire Farm. Uh, we are honored and grateful to accept uh, Clean and Healthy New York's bold vision for a healthy future, future sustainable food award. And I'd like to recognize our ancestors and all of the forebearers who made the road we walk. Our work at Soul Fire Farm is dedicated to uprooting racism and seeding sovereignty. And there are many ways that our team, in collaboration with Black, Indigenous, and people of color, BIPOC communities throughout the nation, have worked towards this vision. In Grafton, New York, where the farm is located, we are regenerating 80 acres of land through Afro-Indigenous farming and forestry practices and sharing the harvest of the land with people impacted by state violence. Um, we work to equip the next generation of black and brown farmers through training, mentorship, and connection to resources, as well as healing ancestral land-based trauma. And we mobilize the public to create a racially just food system by offering talks, articles, and workshops on reparations and policy change. Um, at Soul Fire Farm, we also believe that to free ourselves, we must feed ourselves. And the challenges that the COVID-19 outbreak is posing to our communities exemplify the need for collective food sovereignty. Food apartheid continues to be disproportionately impacting BIPOC communities who are also facing higher vulnerability to COVID-19 due to factors like shared housing, lack of access to healthcare, environmental racism, job layoffs, immigration status, employment in the wage economy without worker protections, and more. Soul Fire Farm recognizes that in addition to system and policy change, home and community gardening can fill gaps in food access while bolstering longer term community food sovereignty. So our Soul Fire in the, uh, Soul Fire in the City program, which uh, centers BIPOC folks impacted by food apartheid, offers materials, labor, and guidance to support our community members in Albany and Troy, and has established over 40 raised bed gardens to date. Soul Fire Farm thanks you for recognizing and lifting up our work with this award. May we all continue to vision boldly and plant the seeds of health, justice, and liberation. Justice.